a brother. <laughs> Multi-axle brother. Well, I'm sitting at a truck stop in uh, Prince George. And as you can see, it's raining. I'm not sure if you can see, but uh, the windshield is all covered in, uh, in rain droplets. And yesterday, as I was driving in 16, an oncoming pickup truck did this. A huge rock, like really. Oh, that guy has. Oh, it's a two plus two. Check this out. That guy has a two plus two, but it's a West Coast design. Like his booster is totally different than mine. And super short, cheap Jeep. Well, because he just has a tandem truck. So my my Jeep is better. And I think my trail is better because I can add one more axle where he cannot add one more axle. Because, you know, West Coast design, they have this kind of like a fish tail underneath the second axle on the trailer. And the booster hooks up right underneath there. I know it's a very strong design, but it's not very flexible. If you was with my trailer, I can, uh, I can add axles. I can do 2 plus 2, 3 plus 1. And uh, so, yeah, I came here uh, yesterday. So let me show you on the, on the computer here. So this is, um, yeah, I don't need this. So this is the terrain map of Northern Canada, right? So this, this line, is between Canada and US, right? So I loaded in near Detroit, right? And drove like this. Mm, no, cross here, Regina, Saskatoon, Edmonton. And th this was the most difficult part through the mountains, right? And so right now, see these mountains over here? So this is Edmonton. I'm right smack in the middle, Prince George. And my delivery was in Terrace. Terrace. And over here it's like one hour in your... I could have I could have rented a car and went to the ocean. But... So it took me a whole day yesterday to do this. To go from Terrace, like this. This is Highway 16. And uh, I was trying to find some spots where to stop, take some pictures, saw a couple of spots, I think one was like here, then another here, it was like super beautiful, but no way to stop. You know, even I'm empty, right? I thought I would have a chance to stop, but the shoulder is so tiny. Like my truck would be blocking half a, half a lane. I cannot do that, right? And the only, the only place I managed to stop was, uh, I think this one, Telqua, Telqua, there was a rest area here somewhere, or oh, here, see this Balkley River Recreation Site, and over there it's a huge rest area for trucks and, and cars, and it opened up like some, see this Mount Forster, so you can see this from here. And I took pictures of a nice, beautiful red house right on the on the river here, and you can see this mountain. It was covered in clouds, and that was the only spot I was able to to stop. So here's those shots. <laughs>
okay and after that I just drove like this through Houston and then Topley and uh, Burns Lake and Burns Lake like 20 kilometers east of Burns Lake that's where we spent the night with the, the pilot went to the hotel in Burns Lake I stopped at the rest area just east of there and then in the morning he went back and, and got me you know when we were driving with uh, with the excavator and then all these Fraser Lake uh, Vanderhof some Dutch name right and that's it and so Prince George what's cool about Prince George is that um, like this is the Labor Day weekend right now if you look at the terrace terrace is way here there's no roads here right uh, and the only for me and there's no roads and there's no loads everything is going in there where they're building the pipeline right and so for me the loads can be either here in Vancouver or in Alberta right or I can I can uh, go south into US like sometimes there's loads in you know Seattle Washington Portland Oregon or even I don't know Salt Lake City I don't care but I can go empty like this pick up a load in US and take it to Ontario right and um, Cambridge Ontario which is near Toronto over here that's about 4200 kilometers <laughs> I think it's like over 3000 miles from where I'm sitting right now so I have no interest in in driving you see this is Prince George right I have no interest in driving uh, that empty because they're just nuts, right? And so um, today is Sunday, September 6th, right? So Monday is the holiday and there's definitely not going to be any loads until, until probably the middle of next week. Usually I know this entire, it's like two weeks. You know, it's a very big holiday and it's both Canada and both US, right? But um, but the weather's like this you know but actually if i i i check the forecast for tomorrow it's much nicer it's going to be sunny and so i booked a hotel for two nights a nice uh, nice uh, three-star hotel and i rented a car i rented a small car not sure what they're gonna give me so so now i'm just waiting for uh, three o'clock the check-in time at my hotel over here so I'm gonna grab a taxi go to the hotel and then in the morning I'll take a taxi to take me to the airport because that's the only place I found where they have cars for rent and I'm gonna grab that car because there's quite a few uh, interesting things to uh, to do around Prince George when you have a camera and you like you know landscapes and photography and stuff like that and so Prince George, it's not a big town. See, that's the airport. So I'll have uh, right now I'm somewhere here on 97, and this is 16. So I will have to go like this. It's like a bypass here, and this 16 east goes to uh, east towards Alberta, right? But downtown is here, and that's where I'll be staying at the hotel, and then take a car, take a taxi cab in here. But there's a beautiful this area over here i was just researching online what to do you know uh, beautiful spots you see like this northeast part of the of prince george is called cottonwood island nature park and there's two rivers in here fraser and nichaco river and that's where the you know all the weddings are shot people go for portraits and stuff like that and but mostly i wanted to go and explore and take pictures of some you know mountains and when i do like this terrain you see that prince george sits like in a valley but all these are mountains over here you know it would be cool to go somewhere here and they were saying i found a i found a website of one guy he says the best like look at this that's like awful so that's real serious stuff uh, you know you don't want to go there <laughs> but yeah this uh summit lake over here on uh, northern 97 
uh, I was I was reading online they have the summit lake and they have this teapot mountain and you have to hike there like 1.52 kilometers but then you have views views like this check this out they say it's like 360 degree views now this poor guy I think his his wife or girlfriend just caught him <laughs> doing this but it looks like this teapot mountain it has unbelievable views you know but it's pretty far it's like 50 kilometers um on forest roads so i don't know depending what kind of car they give me so you know i don't want to get stuck somewhere uh, but i find this very useful this uh, terrain on google maps you know i i use it when i'm tracking as well just to choose the proper uh, proper route because yeah you definitely don't want to go through these areas like you know with mountains when you have a heavy load but you see that over here prince george this road highway 16 actually goes like through a valley and then here you cross mountains and then you're you out of the woods and that's highway 16 takes you to edmonton so chances are probably uh, i will find something i don't know maybe in alberta i was talking to uh one broker who has a load in regina some nice big dozer you know i love dozers i don't do too many of them for some reason and it's like 112 115 000 pounds you know that would be a great load except it's very tall it's very tall and uh, i don't want to be sitting for two weeks in wyoming where it says a uh, review can take two weeks like bridge review or something like that because i need to re i need to uh, renew my cap card which expires uh in three weeks two and a half weeks so i gotta i gotta be in ontario so anyway let me uh call the taxi company book a taxi and then uh, maybe i'll show you some bits from the from the uh, from inside the cab there's a uh, I was staring over there in the distance of course you cannot see but there's a western western star dealer with some cool looking trucks and because this is a you know bc northern bc and forestry is a big part of the people's lives i see lots of lots of trucks they have tried drives try drives you know long wheelbase because they don't allow that kind of wheelbase with a tandem drive truck but with uh, tri drive trucks they, they actually want you to be longer and these trucks look pretty cool so you see raining so we all set up like this oh i did this cover the ports so we are good the jeep is secure and you see i did this i plugged in the uh, all all the hydraulic hoses are plugged in into into each other so all right my taxi is on the way let's get to some decent accommodation and get some rest get some rest from the truck and we'll be back tuesday tuesday wednesday and tomorrow will be a photography day exploring the prince george it's gonna be fun yeah face face coverings are required inside the hotel and there's no restaurant there's no restaurant so we are pretty much downtown but right next to some kind of forest I, 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 I was walking here I saw quite a few uh, homeless people 
fancy oh I like this I like when they have uh... see you have YouTube Netflix so we... but I'm always a bit scared so you have to punch in your you know your password in there but it's cool you can watch you can watch uh... YouTube you know I can watch my my own blockbusters so anyway I like this one coffee actually tastes pretty good Oh, so it's the same, the same view, still under construction, but it looks like a brand new hotel. And I asked him about parking. I said, uh, I don't have a car right now, but I rented the car tomorrow for tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to go to the airport because that's the only place where you can where you can uh, get a car on this uh, Labor Day weekend but check this all right we are right next to some kind of forest but that's like a downtown area but I wanted to go for a walk but I see all these guys hanging around on corners you know like hungry we're looking for somebody to give them some money or something i don't know and uh, like i said yeah i tried to stop on uh, on the way there and didn't see much in terms of parking so i'm gonna charge my gopro cameras right and this is my camera this is my new toy, Nikon D850. Wow, this camera. And this is a Tamra 35 1.4. Got it at a discount because it's a gray model, even though it's painted black, but it has no warranty. Mm, hold on. Digital camera made in Thailand, but same, you know, same Nikon, everything is cool. <laughs> I saved probably four or five hundred dollars US and then I saved another at least four hundred bucks. Well oh, actually this one, yeah, the, the lens is actually US model. The lens has seven year warranty. Uh, but the camera is a gray market camera and uh, legally purchased in the States through a gray market dealer. And this Nikon 70 to 200 is a gray market lens brand new like I don't see any issues whatsoever but again I saved uh, about $400 US you know it's a store in uh, New Jersey that I found I worked with them before I bought uh, the previous camera Canon EOS R and I bought uh, Canon our F24 105 lens from them. Everything worked. Everything was great. And so now, as I decided to switch back to to DSLRs, I went back to the same store 
and uh, I was not disappointed. So everything works, everything is cool. But yeah, I like this camera. It's a very high resolution camera, so it takes great uh, photos, especially with this uh, high quality lens. Mm, 35 and so these are my two lenses that I decided to stick now stick to so this is like general photography you know track loads automotive you know landscapes whatever and then if I need to do something like with a view in the distance I take this and this one is super light actually this lens is lighter than this because this is 1.4 and this is a f4 but it's great for landscapes and it's uh as you can see it's an l i mean n lens like a professional nikon lens with stabilization so this is it so the plan for today is uh, relax i need to do my books you know my my books uh, and expenses for august file my um HST sales tax and then Monday and then I guess Tuesday I need to take care of my Ontario annual uh, oversized license I mean oversized permit because now I have I can do it online and see if I can do the, my if I can renew my cap card online on Tuesday so well, basically, yeah, the plan is after the holidays to try to get to uh, uh, Ontario. Uh, basically, get close to Ontario. So I, I need to find a load either from here to Ontario or Northeast US or go empty into US like Oregon, Washington and again, and then find a load to Ontario. But again, I cannot do loads inside US but i i am allowed to do loads inside canada so so thanks for watching have a uh, have a good weekend boys and girls enjoy your labor day vacation we'll talk to you later